So, you've now started and you've made some flashcards, hopefully. If you haven't, you need to. Particularly, 1 plus 1 up to 15 plus 15, 1 times 1 all the way up to 15 times 15. Now, you really only need to make flashcards on those things that you don't know. 1 times 1, most of you will probably not need to make flashcards on that one. In fact, most of you did a 12 times 12, you probably won't need to on that one. Now, this looks daunting, but it is crucial. You need to understand that understanding and being able to do this is very similar to knowing the alphabet before you know how to read. If you can imagine somebody holding up a card that has a letter on it, A, and then another one, H, and somebody says, oh, that's a H sound. And then you have O, oh, that's an ah sound, and then an R, and then an S, and then an E, and then they hold it up for a whole bunch of times. You're like, oh, I think I know each individual one. You get done and somebody says, okay, so what was the newspaper article about? You're not able to understand and comprehend a larger concept unless these you don't need to think about as much. And so you need to have these down. Now, to, to make it a little bit nicer, this guy up here is going to be the same as that one. So really, you'll, you only have to know one of them. This guy right here, same as that guy right there. So in general, you really only need to do half of them. And if you know up to your 12s, then really, you only need to do a small portion over here. So, you make your flashcards. I have made some flashcards right here. And you need to know that flashcards actually have a science to them. You don't just go through them like this and check the answer and then go through and stick it on the back. Oh, shoot, I forgot that one. When it comes back to the top, you're going to forget it again. So, there's a specific method for which you can study flashcards, and here's how it works. You take about four flashcards right here, study one of them, like 8 times 13. You know what it is? It turns out to be 104. You're like, okay, what is 8 times 13? You're like, 104, you just taught that to me. Yeah, okay, what is it again? 104. You think you got that down? 8 times 13. 104. Good. Now you grab another one. 14 times 11. No clue. 14 times 11 is 154. What's that one? Aha, you might have forgotten it. It's 104. What was that one? 154. 154? 104. And you keep going through these two until you're pretty sure that you have gotten them down pat. Then you grab a third one. 4 times 15. Like, oh shoot, I don't know that one. It's 60. Go ahead and look at it. It's fine. 60. Now, take this one. Ah, it's 154. And come back to this one. 60. 104. 60. Pretty soon you can go through these three as easy as pie. Then you grab one more. So you grab this one. You probably don't know it, so you go this one. That's 120. 154. 120. 104. 60. And you'll realize your brain is starting to forget a few of them. So you go through these four until all four of them are completely in your brain. You call them up as quickly as possible. You take one more. So you've got five in the group. So you go through this one. 126. 120. 126. 60. 126. And you kind of integrate it. 104. 126. Until it becomes just like the other four. Then you just go through them this group of five, until you have it down. Then, you set those aside. Whole new one. 91. 91. 91, until you're set that that's really 91. Then you add one more to it. 42. 91. 42. And you keep going until those two are good. You build it up until you have a set of five. Put that one down. Pull up your old set of five. And then you go through those until you have them down pat. Pick up your new set of five. Go through those until they're down pat. And then the grand finale. Put them together. You now have ten. You go through them until they're perfect. Then you set them down. You pick up a new set of five.
a new set of five, and you continue to build those up until you're perfect on that one, and you pick up the old ten, you're perfect on those. And then the grand finale, you put them together. If you try to memorize everything all at once, it will not do it. Your brain doesn't like it. So take them just a piece at a time, and you'll find it will work out pretty well.